On October 13th, 2014, Jagex released the Iron Man game mode in old school RuneScape. For years, we've waited for the day when we could finally play Iron Man as a group. Finally, Group Iron Man is here. With the help of some friends, we plan on tackling the infamous collection log. The goal is simple. Gather one of each rare, clue, and boss reward RuneScape has to offer. As always, this shit will take a long ass time, but we're always down for a grind. I'm Matt Lighty, and this is The Stockpile. Hey guys, I'm Matt Lighty. This is episode 10 of The Stockpile, our group Iron Man old school series. And this episode, I uh, get our first Basilisk Knight task. Will I get lucky? Will I... Won't I get lucky? Well, you'll have to wait and see. I head back to Kurask's for a very long time. Myself and one of my team members, Zen, bang out some monumental quests. I dabble in some tasks. I go open some clues, as always. I even prep myself in some mini games, And, of course, I end on a nice little milestone and a massive drop. So I hope you enjoy the episode. And, uh, you know, I'll see you in the next episode. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. But enjoy episode 10 of the Stockpile series, Group Iron Man quest completion. So after you saw the Fremenic Exiles quest, I, I had these unlocked and extended from my Slayer Master. These are the Basilisk Knights, the upgraded Basilisks. Now, these have uh, one drop, which I believe we covered earlier, that is of the utmost importance. And it's the only reason I'm actually here. And that drop is the Basilisk... Um, where is it? The jaw. One in a thousand to get the basilisk jaw. So it would be if you're in trader. It's a 17 mil drop. Um, but it's what takes the helm of neat snot and upgrades it to basically the best in slot melee helm for, well, mostly ever. They melee and then they range. Sorry, they really and they, they mage, which is why you could safe spot them and just pre mage and then they don't do any damage. However, um, they're <laughs> very, very tanky. And uh, since you're ranging, you don't have the best prayer gear. I have blessed chaps. I have the Guthic chaps. I don't have a blessed top. I just have a regular black D hat. I don't have blessed boots. I just have snakeskin boots. So I'm missing a lot of prayer in places, and it's just not as good if I would be wearing proselyte as melee. I can't melee them because I have to wear the fucking V shield. Um, so I'm pretty much just stuck doing this. Which is all fine and well. I get the job done, but I just, you know, just hemorrhaging prayer pots basically along the way. Now, it's just okay. Not most tasks I do don't really require prayer pots, so it's fine if some of them like this. I have to spend twenty or thirty prayer pots to complete the task, and then then so be it. I've got a lot. I've got a hundred, uh, two hundred to kill. Two hundred ten was the total because it's extended. Makes the task range between two hundred and two fifty. And it's a one in a thousand drops. We're hoping to get the Basilisk Jaw. And if I get the Basilisk Jaw, well, I could basically just, um, you know, not have to do Basilisk Knights ever again for if I if I so choose. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're giving ourselves the best best chance we have of getting our jaw because the jaw is extremely good. And I would like that for that sick fucking, like, best in slot melee helmet for pretty much ever. Where am I running to? Please, game. There is a superior Basilisk Knight called something. I don't know what it's called. Um, Basilisk Sentinel. There it is. I don't know if these have a special attack when they shoot a pale red colored orb. It looks like it's the same one as the um, same one as the Marble Gargoyles. They have some sort of uh, spam clicking ability like the Jormunger had. So basically I would just uh, be bouncing between this tile and this tile every, between every shot. Shoot once, move this tile. Shoot once, move this tile. And just do this. And then eventually he'll be dead. <laughs> That's basically the plan. Um, if we get a superior to spawn, right? But yep, you really won't see much from these things. These don't have any sort of really good drops at all. Aside from the jaw, so it's just jaw or bust. And odds are won't be probably won't be recording when this thing drops. I'll probably just record after it drops. So hopefully you see a basilisk jaw on the ground in, the, uh, in some clip in the next two years. They, ha they have formed a, a, a brolic conga line of little pit bull creatures. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brolic conga line, and it's all ending uh, in my ass. One, uh, two, three, four. I have one of those like those those deli take a ticket things. <laughs> and they all take a step up, grab a ticket, go to the back of the line. When they get up here, they can start spitting at me like the other ones. Hot loads. The conga line is adjusted slightly. Oh god! Oh, they're adjusting again. Oh, they're adjusting back. <laughs> Is that, a, is that a double adjustment? Oh no, hold on. The conga line has reformed. Never mind. 
Oh, that guy had enough. He spat kept... on you one <laughs> time. And... <laughs> he got his fix. He spat once and <laughs> fucked off. Man, I got a light mystic hat. It's legally a drop from Basilisk Knight says. Technically a new item, but not quite a draw. Well, the Basilisk task night is coming to an end. I have done 210. It took us, I shit you not, maybe 100 prayer potions between myself uh, and Zen. He supplied a bunch. And we received two mystic hats, one basilisk head, which has the same drop rate of the jaw, but it does pretty much fuck all. So no jaw, unless this drops it right here, which it probably won't. It did not. So uh, yeah, first first task is a whiff, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, these tasks are extremely draining at the moment for us. It's just a necessary evil. The rewards we get from them, aside from the jaw, pretty paltry. Best thing is probably law runes, honestly. So, shit task come to an end. Hopefully, uh, my next Basilisk Knight task is the one that gets us jaws, if not multiple jaws, right? Vector guy. Yeah. He almost feels smaller. I, he's, I'm pretty sure this guy's bigger, but... Oh, and height. Because he's flying, he's not... Compared to the average Vector type. guy, who's like this, you know, up there tall. You motherfucker. <laughs> Kill that worm. Shoot her! Oh, Shoot her! Bar. Shoot her! Need more accent. Shoot her! There you go. Bar. Shoot her! Clever girl. Clever girl. Shoot her! Uh, no. It's just a bunch of shit. Darkstar is going to be happy. We, uh, we got him a, a, a second dragon harpoon. Oh, you got him a fresh poon. I got Darkstar some fresh poon. Little fisher boy can enjoy his fresh poon. Some fishy poon? Fishy poon for the fresh dark boy Darkstar. Oh, he's so he, hot, too. He's so hot, he needs that fresh dar dargan harpoon for him. I had, had to re-up for my cur-ass task, and I uh, got a hard clue, so I figured I'd bang it out. Still on the road looking for a blessed body over here. And... We got Paige. Okay. Purple Firelighter. Paige didn't light up as if it's new, making me think that it is, in fact, not new. Um, Sagardom on page four. Is this my first duplicate page? Holy shit, we have three Sagardom on page fours. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's where it's at. I just want to show off that we are um, officially past 2,000 Karasks. Uh, 2,000 Karasks. We've hit five Leaf Blade Swords. Five mystic robe tops. Those are the uh, two rare drops aside from the, the axe, which we uh, have not hit yet still. So, yeah, no axe as of yet. Um, big fucking bummer, but, you know, we'll get there in due time. In due time. Keep on stabbing it eventually. Eventually we will see that coveted leaf bladed axe. <laughs> this is my on and off way of accruing my Rainars, which I, I get a decent amount. Probably like I average three to four Rainars per inventory, which is fine. I'm just trying to accrue kills anyway. So exciting stuff. Um, unrelated, Zen, our one of our members, have, has received the Abyssal Needle from the Rune Crafting minigame, which is kind of cool. I'll have to get my own, but uh, it's good to see that minigame paying off as he does some Rune Crafting. Leaving the Wildy every time to go do Clue Scrolls. <laughs> oh, oh, I got fucked at the very end too. Oh, I got I got fuckled at the very end. Edge, you gotta drop it. Oh, down in a blaze of glory. Where's that song from? Um, the end of Mornington Part Two. Oh come on! Which we're oh, just, that's I'm just a gonna, shame. We're just gonna wait till I get the Death Talisman from the. Uh, I put it in the Guild Bank. You can do it now. The Death Talisman. The catalytic counts for it. Does I it count for it? it? Yeah, yeah. I posted it on the group. I'd chat. have to go do Mornington Part One and Two right now. Yeah, no, those are both <laughs> hell. Uh, they're pretty not bad with rune light. Did you put one in there? I do have one in there. Dexter, you want to do Shield of a Rav with me? Uh, now. Let me go finish my let me go finish my Hellhound task. Let me kill, let me kill the last thirty. And I will. And we'll How we'll far see. away am I from doing the quest to Morning's End? Um, you have to do yes. I guess Rolving Elves. You've been yeah, Rolving Elves and Sheep Herder. Fuck. Sheepherd is pretty bad. 
<laughs> Sheep herder is definitely harder than needing 80 of a stat. 80 slayer. Wow. Look at us go. The goblin. There's a wolf. I'm gonna fucking inspect this goblin out real quick. Goblin, these Get nuts. Absolute. Oh, I'm fucking. I'm tracing. I'm going. I just said I can't reach it. Where is he? What is he on? He's unreachable. But how? He's, he's just transcended. He's right. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a goblin decoration. Okay. What is happening? Is it the little pebbles? I don't know. Can I drop this one? This is the. This is what your friend. Your friend. This should have been your friend. <laughs> that shouldn't have been you, buddy. God damn it! I've been muted this whole time. <laughs> That's why I said you were dead. Uh, Hello. Welcome yeah, back to the world. I unmuted on Discord and I didn't oh, fucking unmute Dexter. on my mic. Dexter. Oh. God damn it. We've just been ignoring you this whole time like a bunch of dicks. Yep. Show peep. I'm like, man, I fucking hate these guys. Oh. <laughs> Nobody laughs at many of my jokes. This is terrible. It happens more often oh, I than you tree. Think. I went to inspect the elf card, but I just clicked the tree. Now I'm learning about the tree. Oh, I got <laughs> I got scammed by a loop path. <laughs> this is how in depth the wiki is. Look at this shit. There are nine tree variants with different appearances. Somebody had to type that out and put it on the wiki. That's how much people love this Fucking game. Fucking Chad. Hold on, let me get this straight, Zen. I hopped to your world. And then I you... had to hop for this elf <laughs> bitch again. You left me all alone here. <laughs> Oh, I just remembered. We have to tickle a gnome's feet. I'm uncomfortable already. Yeah, it's real, like, not not okay. I hope he finishes before I do. There he is, gnome on a rack. <laughs> That's one of the greatest cutscenes in the It's a gnome on a rack. The world is a gnome rack. <laughs> To change. Secret destroyer. Oh, genie. Yeah. Talk to the gnome on the rack. Gnome on a rack. Come on my back. Oh no! Wait, what? Look huh? at him squirm. Oh, he does squirm. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Oh man, the gas mask in. Old school. My god. Brutal looking, aren't they? Wow, that's cursed. Time to actually do the quests. My boys arrived. Good luck. I was thinking, uh, can we kill the shadows or no? Alright, let's begin. There's a rune rock over there. If all the caves to the west of the temple, I go up the stairs then. Oh. Hold on, my so favorite it, says quest. it says shadows. Let's go. Oh, we, they're, okay. Well, that's not a big deal then. How many prayer pots you got? Two. Like he was never gone. On me or full stop? Inside your ass. I have four entirely, but I have four on me, so. I'm gonna bring it to. Collect crystals from the dispensary. Put the mirror in the pillar. Put the mirror in the pillar. Uh, put the pillar in the mirror to the north and have it point west. Or do we just hit rotate? Oh, it stops lighting up when you get it right. And... Oh. You having fun yet? Like... Oh, oh so close to the end. <laughs> I hope Zen finishes the entire quest and I'm just still here. <laughs> Fuck. Six inventories later full of Karen Blands. It's going down. I got to like the last handhold also that one time. Hmm. Pretty sure I came here with like 75 agility and I still fell down a few times. Oh, we're halfway. We're close. Oh my god, I think I made it across. It's just, I mean, you only gotta do that like two or three more times, so. Oh yeah, brother. Let's show it on your mini map. Oh, I see. Oof. Bofa. Both of what? Both of these nuts! 
both a Philodon. There's a man here that is very high level. That should. Well, actually, you know what? He's the same level I am. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, 103 combat. I'm 103 combat. We can't do the quest to unlock the endgame city, but this is the quest before that one. This, the, the elf quest chain, which is what this is part of, is like the longest quest chain in the game. Go down to the first floor. I broke my leg. I need you to call Ariane one quickly. Calling. Calling. Oh, I just put the brain. <laughs> he snuck a 10 in, little fucker. <laughs> oh, boy. He did it. Okay, enter the death altar. Use Catalilla Talisman on altar. You can check out anytime you like. I'm in. Really Unlock Lamort. Let's go. Holy shit. Use the newly made crystal on the death altar. Use the newly made crystal on death altar. Leave the death altar and use the charged crystal on the dark crystal. Sucks. I just kept getting back to Erwin's going to be terrible. It would have been so exciting if the catalytic crystal talisman hadn't worked. Oh, there's another clue, Zen. Uh, another clue. Oh, no. It's okay, it's in Trollheim. Oh, this has to be the last one. I think this. How many steps is this? No, it doesn't have to be the last one. It, I think it's going to be the last one, though. Oh, there's another clue. He said a Keldergrim. What is happening? Casket. Oh, alright. Thank God. We've been on such a long dry streak of getting no uniques. Here we go. Hard casket. Hopefully a blessed dragon hide top. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the sadness is never ending. Alright. <laughs> Off to Iowa's camp I go. Finish. Finish. Me. Finish. Finish. Finished. Hey, uh... You think you could finish it off? Um... I don't know. Probably finish not. It. Yay. White cave's complete. <laughs> as far as I'm Close concerned. <laughs> Where's the cape? Ew. When the fire hits me, it like milks through my body. <laughs> I don't know how to describe oh. it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, it rides me down. <laughs> Look at it. You see that, right? It's yeah. just milking through me. Ooh. Uh, oh no. I don't I don't like the way it's so goopy. I'm getting gooped. Fire. The flames are inside you, like each other. Flame should not like be that. Every viscous. wave from henceforth just has one of these plus something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But eventually it's double of that, no oh, Jad. Double, double is like way. the same thing as twenty. I mean there's really no difference. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I know you can save your prayer potion. <laughs> Where? You, just, you see that? You see that bunch up there? You just gotta click it really fast. What this one? <laughs> it has Not pretty maybe. melee though, unfortunately. They're so, they're so. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead because of you, Death. Look what you made me do. I pushed it so fast though. I was the fastest pusher in the in the West. Okay, good. Man, nothing could have prevented this and made me save my prayer pots. Well, you know, every casket you don't open has a mirror in it. That's true. Oh, shit. A mirror smuggled, smuggled out of Morning's End Part 2. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want the, oh, I want the dark crystal. Why? Why would you remind me? <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Not a great... Then I had even a worse time. Then I had to bank, and... He had I had to, to bank three times. You had to bank three times for two different reasons. Or I had to bring that yep. man 50 items. I had to walk through there like eight times. No whining. Imagine not having two catalytic talismans right back well, to Technically, him. we didn't have two catalytic talismans. Yeah, we, we had, had one, one in the TR that TR. doesn't work. Imagine share, having to share. All Imagine right, not having uh, a well-fed wicked here we hood. Here's the, here's the blessed body. Watch. Please. please. Oh, pretty close. Oh. Ooh, okay, okay. Zembra Why is my stream Zami, so close? Zami Van Braces, but I'm pretty, pretty sure... Good. Pretty sure those are worse than... Hey! Hey! Twinsies. I'll take them. That's great. Back yeah. in my black tea hide. Yeah. You'd be oh, and a clue. A uh, master scroll book. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Not sure what that even does. Grats on. You could put all Grats your teleport on, uh... scrolls in there. Oh, is that what that oh. does? That's huge. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. Grats on, uh, right, on congealed blood, buddy. That's pretty dope. Can I can just click them when I'm... Oh, I can. Mm -hmm. oh, that's way God. better than the fucking, the fucking shit breaks. That saves you like 10 bank spaces, too. It does. That's, that's, that's a lot for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> My bank is very full. We're edging the cap pretty hard. All right. 
Sammy braces are good. I changed the left click to having it just open now. I could click on whatever. Oof. God, that's such a nice change that they did. That's a cool one. It's a pretty cool drop, not gonna lie. Very good. Pretty good drop. Oh, I still have it quantity all on. I'm just ripping my bank apart. So I'm currently in uh, Karend, the continent to the to the to the west, um, and I'm killing lizard men because this is how I get my reputation up for the Shazian Empire. You know, the Karend has all this reputation, kind of like your classic WoW rep. Um, and there's a lot of ways to get it up. And there's little baby quests associated with all of them. Once you get them to 100, percent pretty much locked in. You're good to go. Um, I'm doing this because there's a spell book. Uh, the Arceus spell book, which I want to get some extra spells for, and it requires me doing all the reps to do this, like, centralized quest for the continent. Um, not a whole lot of fun to be had here, so just going to probably cut to me having all this shit done, and then on stream I'll be doing the quest. So that's that. Just getting through all my rep. It's a uh, necessary evil of a grind. Um, some of them involve, like, Piscarillus is, like, gathering sandworms from the ground and... Arceus was looking to a library for books and Shazian's killing lizards, so all pretty standard stuff. But the uh, one thing I do get is for the Shazian one, getting the lizards dead, I do unlock, I get the Xerix Talisman, which gives me a lot of cool teleports, so across this place. So kind of a fun thing, but that's about it. Get a nice little teleport. <clears throat> Eventually you can have it mount in your house, I think like super down the road. For sure it costs a lot though. Um, 72 construction. Yeah, you need 5,000 lizardman fangs to do it, though. And the rate in which I accrue them now is, like, a pitifully low amount, so... Won't be getting any time soon, obviously. Wait a second, Shazen armor? Oh, Shazen armor is ranged armor. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Alright, that's that. Is this an elite or something, putting on full Shazen? It's nothing. Alright, I thought it'd be something. I, it's nothing. Well, Shazen complete. Oh, there's a big boy! Big boy? Yep, real big boy. Well, here's the question. Whoa! I can seemingly safe spot the big boy. He's huge. Big boy. That's one big boy. He's just getting crotch shotted. He is. Is big boy important? Yeah, big boy's a superior. They have like a one in, I don't know, 200 chance to spawn. On a Slayer task for certain mobs, and superiors themselves give triple drops from what the normal things give, but also they have an independent drop table to superiors. Uh, that is a 1 in 126 of the Mist Battle Staff, the Dust Battle Staff, and the 1 in 440 for the Eternal Gem or the Imbued Heart. I would want of these the Imbued Hearts the best, then the Gem, then the Dust, because I already got the Mist, so anything, any of these three would be amazing. But he's also should give a large chunk of, um, what's it called? Experience. Big, pretty big chunk. A couple thousand, maybe? I don't know. You get, like, a, a superior every other day, maybe. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> All right, here he goes. Big boy down. And, nope. Oh. I didn't see how much experience I got. Uh, we hit coins, blood runes, death runes. So amongst my, my Slayer grind and looking towards getting things to optimize Slayer, better gear, better stuff, Papa John's, getting just better things all around. I'm focusing my mind on Mage a little bit here. I'm doing a mini game called the Mage Training Arena. It's broken up into four different sectors where I basically do these menial tasks, as if RuneScape wasn't menial already, more menial tasks, uh, and casting non-combat Mage utility spells to do weird little mini games, these get spent at a point barker that then lets me purchase, um, well, very good mage gear actually, the Master Wand, and the Infinity Road set, which is a tier 50 or 60 mage armor, so higher than I'm currently wearing or have. This should give me a point bonus as well. Yep, 18 telekinetic points. I have to do one more, um, and that after this next reset, I'll show you the shop. And show you exactly what that's about. Actually, I could just leave here. This is even easier. It's fine. So we have the different ones. We have graveyard, enchanters, alchemists, and tele telekinetic, which is the one you just saw. I move a, a thing in a maze using telekinesis. Every five rounds, you get a little bit of bonus points, which is nice, but it's brutal still. So 
this is the shops. This is the this is the basis. You could ignore the rune section; it's never worth buying, really. But you have the beginner wand, and then that becomes the apprentice, the teacher, the master. Master wand, the big one, because eventually you get an item from a raids called the Kodai, and it lets you make the Kodai wand, which is the best wand in the entire game. So master wand is a very good thing. This whole grind is very good. It's just brutal. So for context here, you have thirty points plus sixty because you have to upgrade. You know, going up the chain here. Um, plus 150, plus 240. That's, amount, that's the amount I have to do of that telekinetic minigame. Also the same thing for enchantment, graveyard, alchemist, there's different values. And then there's also the infinity top, infinity bottoms, um, infinity boots, which the infinity boots you need to, much like the ranger boots, has a crystal that comes off the Cerberus boss to upgrade these into the better boots at level 70, I believe. So best in slots all around here. I just have to start unlocking stuff. And Mage Book actually is the second highest magic bonus for an offhand in the game. So the things I want to focus on here is the Master Wand, the Mage Book, and the Infinity Boots. Because if I do get Arams from doing Barrows, which is another Mage set, that's actually better than Infinity. But eventually, maybe I'll do it. Depends on my will to live. Uh, bones to Peaches is also a very good skill, which sounds stupid, but it turns all Bones inventory into Peaches. Peaches heal eight. It's actually a lot of free food for Slayer. So... Uh, mostly I'm focusing on the Master Wand, which can auto-cast, by the way, not only the regular spellbook spells, but also the Ancient spells, and also the Arceus spells, and also Slayer Dart, so it's just great. So Master Wand's the first port of call, and depending on my will to live, I'll probably get the Mage Book, which is very expensive, though. That's It's more expensive than anything else. Um, and then the Infinity Boots are pretty cheap, so maybe I'll get those next, just to save myself, but that's what I'll be doing for the next couple of days, probably on stream as well. I have a whole laundry list of things I want to accomplish, um, mainly, where is it, here, things I need to get to do the Kurand and Kebos and Mauritania hard diaries, but I want to do this first because, well, I'm close to getting that Barrows portal up and running, and it'd just be fun to do a little bit of Barrows here and there. So I showed you the Telekinetic portal, but there's three other ones, and uh, some are very much worse than others. This one, I have to reset now because it's empty. Good. <laughs> this is part of the fun of this one. This is the enchanting room. I actually just finished the amount of points I need for the enchanting room to get to the master wand. And the enchanting room offers more points than the other ones, but also is much faster accruing points and is not too annoying. Wow, I'm just hitting empty worlds here. Basically the enchanting room, the simple way to do it is you just hop worlds, um, picking up these six dragon stones on the ground, then you cast level five enchant on them. That's the extent of this, but I think I'm behind someone else who's hopping. So I'm just going to have to pick an arbitrary world up top here. Let's do trouble brewing in Germany and uh, go there. <sighs> Fingers crossed for dragon stones and yeah. All right. So we pick up the six dragon stones and after that we uh, click enchant on them and then you get 10 points per dragon stone and that is the extent of this game. And I needed, I just got the second wand upgrade. So I went from the first one to the second one. Still do the third and the fourth, which are exponentially higher. And I needed to go from three to four, 3,900 enchanting points, of which I just reached. But I want to demonstrate what this is like, even though there's not a whole lot to it. So I grab my six dragon stones and then I click enchant. So, and that's it. Then I sit here and wait till all six are done. And then I leave. I really, I hop worlds, but that's the extent of this minigame, for this section of it. There's nothing to it more than that. You could do all the stuff where he calls out things, but it's just easier to just grab six dragon stones and hop. Um, and yeah, there's 60 points. The 3900 I did took about two hours. Next minigame is the Alchemist Teleport, which is probably the most intense one. Now, this one you have to alk things that are found in these random cupboards that rotate every 30 seconds. They have different values that rotates, and then you deposit them for a 10 to 1 ratio of coins to money. So if I have to get, um, sorry, 101 ratio to coins to money. So if I have to get 40, 440 alk points, I have to get 44,000 gold, okay? So I click here, and it'll tell me where the thing is. Yep, shields are here. So I grab like, I don't know, I'll say eight, I guess is a good number. And I hit high alk, and I alk them. And you can re-alk the second you hear the last sound of the alk. So Alks go dun, 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 and after the third one, you can click again, and then it'll bring you back to the menu. This gives you 30 GP. Um, eight's a pretty comfy number to where you can do eight in 30 seconds, including picking them up, and then uh, 
that gets you 204, 215. I guess I just missed it by a little bit in the last one there. So you can see now it's emerald, so I have to move over here. I just follow rune lights commands, basically. Loot about, we'll say eight. Normally I click for like two, three seconds, and then I get to alchemy again. And I have to get um, 44,000 GP, of which I'm at now 300. Uh, this one's pretty terrible, but this gives you by far the most experience because look at the rates in which you're getting experience per elk. It's 65 per high elk. So the most experience comes out of this by a landslide. And yeah, this one's pretty terrible. So if I put in my 470 GP in the deposit coin thing, I would get four points. Um, I'll get a chunk of experience. It'll tell you the breakdown of the menu. But yeah, that's that one. It's not very fun. This is the most click intensive, maybe, or the next one. The next one's the worst, I think, overall, just because of you could die in it. <laughs> next one's Graveyard. This requires 390 points. This one, you come over here to the stack of bones. You spam click it until there's going to be a, a panel in the top left. This one right there, it's going to go green eventually. And I click bones. I Actually, you should be able to... You turn them into to bananas and you deposit them. But if you do it fast enough, um, you can actually click the deposit thing and then click bones and uh, should make the bones into bananas before you even get there like this and that one should become a two there we go i did it right and i use constantly taking damage and i do about 20 points per life pool and um but then i go outside to the duel arena and i have them heal me and i come back and do it again so 20 points per life pool 390 points we'll say 400 points so about 20 trips um, 20 back and forth takes about three hours and yeah, that's it every 16 bananas gets you uh, one point So if you had to go over like I, I deposit um, an inventory of what is it? 24 per, per per click So I get a little bit extra so one and a half points per deposit It's faster than the alchemist one by I think by far But it's just more and that's it. Those are the four different mini games that we've showcased in Mace Ringer That's all there is to offer some people have more try-hard methods. Some people have more laid-back methods. Um, it's pretty terrible either way. And uh, yeah, once I get my Master Wand, I'm going to not come back here for a while because I hate it. Oh, here it is. Here's the last Kurask. Well, I'm going to finish the trip, but this is, this is it. This is 30, 30, 78 incoming. You got to want it. I want it. I need it. <laughs> I need Aww. it. I need it. I words. need it. I don't need Your it. <laughs> what do you need? All right. So I what happened? Where is it? They didn't get it. 30, 30 78 is again the reason that that number is important because the drop rate is one in one twenty six, right? So then, so ten twenty six times three, thirty seventy eight, meaning I'm three times dry on the drop rate. <laughs> You're officially dry. Officially quite dry. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Oh, weren't even showing oh. us. Oh. Light is <laughs> Christ, light. Oh. I like how he hasn't that. said an actual word yet. Oh. <laughs> He's just over here, just jizzing his pants. Oh. Oh. We were so over oh. the street. Oh no. You need a napkin. What? Oh. <laughs> a little shitty leaf bladed axe. Was, say. <laughs> was it worth it? Oh, it was <laughs> definitely worth it. Not fun and three th so it's a one in a thousand, and it took me three thousand three hundred and fifty-eight. I thought you had five k. No, no, no. God, if I had five oh, k, no. I'd be fucking hanging off the bridge. <laughs> Under the bridge downtown. Holy shit! All right, I'm free. I'm free from this. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and get another one. <laughs> okay. Be even Time to get a get second next one. Though. Oh, next one's even quicker. Now I got Leaf Player next. <laughs> I can kill him so much faster now. I need some real good celebration sounds for the video. Oh no. Oh my I'm god. Well, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> but when it does happen, I need some big celebration sounds. Oh, I can't. Just play the wheel clapping sound. I could do that here. I don't know if I can do it in time. No, I've already Whoa! done it. We'll clap oh wait, hold on. Oh, we're good. I have enough time. Here we go. The clap's happening. All right. Here, we... hooray! Seventy yeah. prayer. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.